Good morning. Another day of planting for us. Hopefully your day went well today or yesterday or the day before. We're going to plant uh, cantaloupe seeds today. Um, I only can fit three more small um, sour cream containers in the grow box because of the other two big trays of tobacco and I planted the um, peanut jar that I showed you the other day of tobacco also so that's in there it has the heating pad which I'll show you here in a few uh, underneath in the bottom so some of the warmth can go up top too it, you know it can warm up the whole box but the bottom is really um, uh, holding in the moisture you can see droplets inside the uh, plastic dome so that's uh, a good sign of uh, it's you know at a good temperature and a good moisture level so let's plant these seeds in these two containers and then I have to make up a third one so I just took the mixture I had yesterday which was the pro mix potting soil the BX uh, edition with worm castings and I forgot to mention that the water that I use is the well water I don't use tap water if tap water is the only available source that you have let the water sit for two to three days to let the chlorine evaporate out of it uh, stir it up throughout the day um, you know to get the chlorine out of it and uh, it should work just as well, but uh, I use the well water and with these seeds Seeing that they're kind of small. These are cantaloupe All you do is press down. This is what I do Just underneath The surface Guess I didn't go on the surface, huh? Just right underneath just so it's barely covered up but I'm just showing you what I do there's that one and we'll put three in this one and once these get going decently then I'll transplant them into um, a milk jug I'll cut down a milk jug and use that you know reuse stuff I don't uh, need to buy you know pots all the time so that's how easy it is I just put it below the surface and let them germinate and grow and uh, I have to see how many worm castings I have I think I'll do uh, one um, container full of worm castings and see what the difference is you know and no potting soil in it so let me go check uh, what worm castings I have and as you can see that's just worm castings itself there's a worm in it so this one will have worms which will aerate the soil uh, produce castings you know they're still going to eat the material in here and they won't bother the plants at all or at least what I've seen last year they they haven't uh, on my tobacco and what I'll do is just uh, add one there and another one here covered up just slightly And as you can see there's a worm right there so yeah um, I don't see any problem with worms being in with the uh, soil itself at least that didn't happen to me last year I mean uh, it's something that you can try I don't uh, I don't think they bother the roots I, I didn't see any ill effects for my tobacco last year which I did this 
and my other plants. Um, I had quite a few worms uh, in different containers last year, and uh, I, I never saw any problems with it. So, what I'll do is, uh, on this one, I'll put a cover. Keep the moisture in there, and uh, we'll wait till that germinates. And with the cover on this one, and with these uncovered, we'll see what the different uh, germination rates uh, are going to be, and uh, the growth. And I'll take the cover off once this, you know, gets growing. I just wanted to uh, pop out a couple leaves on top, and uh, you know, we'll see what uh, just plain worm castings do compared to the potting soil with worm castings this year. So let's go have a look at the grow box. So I turned the lights on so you guys could see inside here. Uh, usually I leave them off for the first two to three days or, or more. Uh, the peanut jar, tobacco. This has tobacco in it. That's your worm castings with cantaloupe. The two other containers with cantaloupe. And as you can see here, with the heating pad underneath it, I run it, uh, it's an old heating pad and it stays about, um, oh, halfway I've got it set on. But you can see the water droplets from the condensation in there. And that will help heat the whole uh, grow box. And, uh, yeah, that's as much space as I have. I can't really put another one here. Um, so that's, you know, I'm limited on what the small grow box, you know, fits in there, but it's a start. And uh, I didn't grow cantaloupe last year. Uh, this is my first year growing it, so we'll have to see how well that uh, performs for uh, food and uh, growth wise and uh, the, the tobacco uh, it might take a month or two for it to be transplanted probably two months but uh, yep yeah, that's a look at the uh, grow box and I'll shut the lights off for another two to three days so they're in the darkness they don't need light right now they need to germinate first which means to open up their seed and start growing well this is what I've been doing the past couple hours is shredding all this by hand bills receipts still trying to find the receipt from Fry's Electronics which I haven't found yet and all that mess it isn't there so the search still continues well looking through all those bags I couldn't even find the receipt I thought I would be but uh, would be able to I meant I couldn't um, I checked the drawer where I thought it would be or where, or where it would fall into nothing that was a lot of uh, shredding to do in all those containers it uh, I was like three hours or something I was spending to, to do all that but it needed to be done and that will go into the flow through in the living room I'll put all those bills and receipts into that for uh, bedding and food so thanks for watching today and as always I'll see you tomorrow